Send the fire like you did in Acts 2. Send the fire like you did at Azusa Street. Send the fire like you did in 1948 in the latter rain outpouring. Send the fire like you did in the 1960s during the charismatic renewal. Send the fire like you did on the vineyard movement. Send the fire like you did in Toronto. Send the fire like you did in Pensacola. Send the fire like you have upon the Jesus movement. Lord, if you'd send the fire on this generation and light it a flame with the presence of heaven, Lord, we would never lack again. Lord, let a generation see what it is like for the church to be aflame with your presence and with your fire. God, we need you all across America, Lord. Would you release the fire of your Holy Spirit? We're like dry timber on the altar. We're like dry wood and kindling that have been stacked nice and neatly. But God, what we're missing is the flame of the Holy Spirit. John Wesley said, send the fire today. And Lord, we're praying for an outpouring of your Holy Spirit upon the Western Church in this hour where darkness is encroaching, where the lies of the enemy are rising up like the prophets of Baal and the prophets of Asherah. Lord, there's a spirit of Jezebel across America that's trying to intimidate the prophetic voice of a generation. But God, we're saying, send the fire. Send the fire and raise up those who are filled with the Holy Spirit. Boldness and courage in the name of their God who fear no man who tremble before no demon, who will not bow before an idol, but have a prophetic unction on the inside of them. Lord, send the fire of your Holy Spirit upon the church. Set the flame on the altar once again. It started in us, God. We need you, Holy Spirit. Send the fire, God. Send the fire. We need you.
ready. Yeah.